what's this now? Do I have visitors approaching my throne room? Oh, how bothersome. And I actually planned on getting some rest tonight. Go on now, my uninvited guests. Show yourselves. I assure you, that's a much better option than me finding you instead. Five of you, I see. All armed to the teeth. Well, this is certainly interesting. Would you like to tell me what you're doing in my castle? Maybe even tell me what you think of the decor. My throne room doesn't get many visitors, so I've been curious about other opinions. <laughs> hmm. Are you the leader? I should talk to whoever's in charge of this little band. Either way, I could have sworn I just heard you say that you're here to kill me. Now, if I were you, I'd reconsider, but to each their own. Insistent, are we? You're completely sure. I won't let you escape, you know. <sighs> Fine then. Come at me. I've got all night. Oh, and... Just because I don't want to hear your screams, a little magic to silence you. Oh, what's wrong? Didn't know I had magic. I warned you to walk away. But you chose not to. A pity, really. Come on. Let's go. Fight for your pathetic little lives. Too scared? I see. It's typical of your kind. Now you begin to back away as I walk forward. But you're not fast enough! <laughs> <laughs> Has fallen, and only the leader remains. Where did you run off to, my dear? I can smell the sweet scent of your blood racing through your veins. It's only a matter of time until I find you. If you stop running, it'll be less painful when I catch you. So you listened, hmm? You're smarter than most. On your knees before me, staring at the floor, no doubt feeling shame for the decision that led to the death of your friends. But you do have one quality of a strategist. You know when to admit defeat. Look up at me, human. I said, look up at me. Don't make me ask again. Ah, those tears stain your beautiful face. And those eyes are full of fear. I wonder what it is you truly fear. Death? Or is the fact that I haven't killed you? terrifying. 
Are you wondering what I'll do with you? What I'll do to you? <laughs> you saw the speed at which I ran through the others. You know that I could have sunk my fangs into your neck or ripped out your heart before you had a chance to run. You know that you're alive because I let you live in that moment. And that I must have done that for a reason. Is that what terrifies you, my dear? Not knowing what evil machinations I have in store for you. <laughs> You're beautiful, my dear. Even in full battle gear. You're stunning to look at. I don't see many other... Well, I was going to say people, but I don't really see many other anythings. Humans, vampires, anything sentient. They all avoid this place. So a beautiful human like you coming into my castle? That's one in a million. I... <laughs> well, I just have to keep you. Even without words, your expression tells all. The fear you already had mixing with a newfound anger, morphing into a feeling of impotent defiance. I'd put that feeling away, my dear. It will only serve to make your life more difficult. This may not be what you wanted to happen, granted. But what exactly are you going to do to stop me? I've lived for centuries. I'm more powerful than any being on this earth. The second you declared your intent to end me, your life was no longer yours. It's mine. And in lieu of ending it, I've chosen to spare it at the cost of your freedom. Now, get up. It's time to go to your new home, my chambers. Aw, it's all right. Wipe those tears. You'll be treated well, as long as you behave. Speaking of, I'll release the silence spell now. I would prefer it if you didn't scream, simply because I find it to be slightly irritating. Though, if you are insistent on screaming, get it out in less than five seconds, will you? I can recast the silence spell as fast as I can release it, and I'd hate for my little trophy to make a bad first impression on her master. Still choosing to hold your tongue, see. <laughs> That's okay. I have ways to hear your beautiful voice. Some less pleasant than others. But you'll speak to me eventually, dear. In fact, <laughs> you'll worship me. <laughs> I just knew I'd get a good reaction out of that. Calm down, dear. I may take your freedom, but rest assured, I'm not the demented monster you've likely heard stories of. I actually have quite a bit of class. This won't be as bad as you're expecting. As long as you behave, your life will be good. And if you don't, it would be a real disappointment, but... I wouldn't torture you or anything. I'd just trap you in my area of the castle. I'd still feed you and all that. I'd just make sure you were less comfortable. Well, the difference is you can be my lover, or you can be a freeloader that's magically bound to my place. Make no mistake. 
Your life belongs to me now. You're not escaping that, no matter how hard you try. Here we are. It's a nice bedchamber, is it not? A bed fit for a king. And his new queen, should she want it. I mean, you don't have to sleep in the bed with me, no. However, I think sleeping on the cold, hard floor at the foot of the bed is both much less comfortable and much more humiliating. Oh, relax. I don't want to do anything. Not now. You humans always act as if sharing a bed is an act of extreme intimacy. Cuddling may be more so, but I don't even really care to do that tonight. However, there is one thing I need to do. Come here, my sweet. Good. Nice and easy. It's simple. All I need is a little kiss. Hold on, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Just a little burn is all. Reach up. Feel your neck. Do you feel that intricate little mark? That's my crest, dear. It shows that you belong to me. With that crest, you can't go further than my throne room without my permission. Just a little insurance to keep you here. Even if I'm knocked out cold, that crest will keep you here forever. Now, sweet one. Join me in bed. That's it. Good girl. Now, I'm going to stay over here. Feel free to remain on your half of the bed. However, if you feel like making a move, I won't stop you. Of course. Now, get some rest. Good night, sweet one.